The category winner for display is the Victorian Albert Museum Ceramic Study Gallery by Opera Amsterdam. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Jeroen Lutekhuis. I'm senior designer at Opera. Um, I'm sitting here happy. Congratulations. First of all, let's go through your five images. Yes. What's this first image? Does this relate to this uh, project? No, no, no. Oh, this uh, is another project. It's, 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 it's another project. It's done by an agency from London called Partners, and, and it's, it's a simple entry of a fair, I believe it was for De Deloitte. And it's such a simple and gentle idea. It's just basically graphics that probably had this corridor and made a projection inside, which by just walking through it became an image. But also you get a lot of presence in, in return just by walking through it. It gets, you see, great graphics. And, and, and what I like about it is it's such a simple idea, but you get so much in return. And that's always nice. And this? Well, this, this could be a nice introduction for the project we did for the uh, for the V and A. This is a, a, a painting or a wood print, I have to say, from a Dutch artist, Jan de Bie. And it's I think it's a stunning image, but it's it's just expressing me myself alone, sitting with the whole world around me. And maybe it's it's a good starting point for. Another image I would like to show. It's 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 the this is uh, the project we 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 um, we send in for the V&A, and it's all about density, multitude, and also it's 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 a maybe I have to tell a little bit more about the project. It's 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 a this is one of the showcases of the ceramics study galleries in, in at the V&A in London. And the, the V&A asked us to, to uh, design a new galleries uh, using all the objects, which is 26,000 objects, um, instead of just highlighting a few top objects with their stories. Uh, it's, a, it's a visible storage um, where the curators worked inside the showcase. Um, but what I really like about it is that, that, that that's because it only gives you the objects and the, the visitor itself can choose its own connections and choose its, uh, its own uh, stories uh, in, in, in the showcase. And it's also me, myself, and the universe, and all is around you. And, and the, in a way, the visitor becomes the curator itself. And I think that's, that's, that's especially what I like about this project. So tell us about opera then. How many people work at opera and, and do you only do interiors or do all kinds of projects? We, we mainly do exhibitions. We work for quite some, some different museums in, all around the world. Uh, I think 80% of our work, na nearly 90% of our work is, is exhibition related. We also do some retail and, 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 and sometimes offices like that. But it's, it's, um, it's, it's museums and we, we're a relatively small office, I think. 15 people, but we also work with external people, lighting advisors, AV people, uh, also uh, writers, and, and yeah. Let's go back to the other images you sent in. So yeah, this is, this is, I think this, this, this is a nice metaphor for how you could deal with a museum as well. This is a, uh, a ski, skiing ramp, is that the word, I think? Uh, it's, it's a postcard, I believe, and um, what's nice about it is uh, you see all the, 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 the lines, the, the yellow lines and all the numbers, and it basically shows routes you can use uh, to go down. It, you have really, you have routes for, for beginners, you have routes for, for really specialized people, there's fast tracks, there's fast slow tracks, but there's also um, stops with very beautiful viewing points, there's restaurants, there's stuff for, for, for children, and it works as a really nice metaphor for how, how lots, lots of museums work as well, we think. There's always di different speeds and different layers uh, to tell in, in, in museums, and, and that makes this image so nice because there's, there's a lot of resemblance in it. That's a really nice way of looking at it. And this? It's a photograph by Richard Evenden, and his work is, is fantastic, and I really love this, 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 this image, but what I like about it even more is the story behind it, because the story is that this, this is the Dutch and the Duchess, and he, he was 
uh, commissioner to make uh, a series, series of photographs of them. Well, he knew something about them. Uh, one was that they didn't like if someone would get too late uh, at an appointment, and the other one that these people, they, they really loved uh, animals. And so what happened, he came much too late, and he was starting the, the shoot, and p just before this picture, he mentioned them that he was so late because he ran over a dog <laughs> at the street, and then he took this picture. And what I like about it is that, um, of course, photography is, is a medium to use to capture a moment, and I think good photography is to even to tell a story, but he, he goes even one step further, he makes a story, and I think that's a very brave thing to do. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Jeroen, for coming in, and um, congratulations on winning the category, and good luck tomorrow with the big prize. Thank you very much. And let's end with the image of the, the project. <laughs>